Gue suruh school fans ini adalah vlog satu hari sebelum FIBA World Cup Final. Gue sengaja sih udah mulai ngerekam vlognya hari ini agar gue bisa kumpulin footage footage biar nggak terlalu repetitif kayak vlog yang kemarin ini. Dan di belakang gue kalian udah bisa lihat nih rame banget guys sih pada nungguin tim USA akan pergi ke latihan. <laughs> gue lagi akan masuk sih ke latihan tim USA. Uh, gue penasaran bagaimana vibesnya setelah mereka main ini kalah ataupun juga di upset sama Jerman di semifinal. Jadi mereka besok akan melawan Kanada untuk bronze medal game. Dan gue penasaran sih kira-kira ada yang mau kasih tanda tangan nggak ya <laughs> setelah kalah kemarin ini. Dan ini asik banget guys lapangannya dalam hotel guys. Jadi mereka nggak perlu kemana-mana. Tim USA cuma perlu turun aja dari kamarnya. Dan ini ada lapangan basketnya di sini. Dan ini gue juga setelah ini mau kasih lihat kalian sedikit footage aja. Tadi pagi gue sempet ke talk show FIBA World Cup. Di mana ada tiga brand ambassador mereka ada Luis Cola, lalu ada Carmelo Anthony dan juga ada Pau Gasol. Uh, jadi itu akan jadi permulaan vlog kita hari ini. So once again thank you so much guys. So untuk thank you so much guys for always supporting my content. Semoga kalian enjoy dengan liputan gue dari Manila. And please guys jangan lupa untuk like, jangan lupa untuk comment. And yeah now sebentar lagi kita akan masuk ke dalam latihan ya, tim USA guys. Speed car shooting around Untuk rilis stress nih guys pasti Oke, coba bisa anda kan bisa 3 point point kasih sama dia Ada Real media, look at this Person point was the what? It was a tough night for you last, last, last time out. You were stunned by Germany and you had a hard time playing against the bigs of Germany. Talk about what happened there. You said what? <laughs> Talk about what happened between your mild match between the Germany bigs. Like. Wow, bro. Because his question is so, like, it's one of those you're just like, bro. <laughs> this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you what's going on. Like, oh, man. He's, he's like, he, like, reinforced me. Like, turn the question on. Like, you were stunned yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, that's, no, that's I still haven't slept. I still haven't slept, so now I'm being, you know, uh, yeah, tough game. They won. Probably soon. I can't really say much else. It happened like six hours ago or something like that. So, good morning or good afternoon, wherever y'all at. JJJ, sama Coach Po di bawah ring bareng. Udah ngobrol. We got Mikael Bridges right here. And my three point. But it's okay though. Tapi tadi JJJ sih agak malas ba ngomongin basket ya. <laughs> Pas pertanyaan basket sih dia malas banget jawabnya sih. Tapi main LSK seneng banget ya. Ada <laughs> Josh Hart, Raheel, dan ada Cam Johnson. Dan ada Grand Hill juga di sana sih. Exclusive look guys. Hanya di channel ini ya guys. Dari Latin Team USA. Ayo coach, boleh lah, rekrut lah ke Clippers lah ini Biar mantep Clippers nih, butuh point guard kita Ah oh, butuh rebounder, rebounding guard ke Josh Hart nih, boleh lah Tapi <laughs> kontaknya masih pada lama kayak di New York ya, baru signing soalnya Yeah, I think, I mean, for me, I can't really speak for everybody else But for me, going to time out, you know, go and play yeah, play with the same intensity and same focus and to win. Uh, it doesn't matter if it's five on five in practice, uh, if it's first place game, third place game, obviously we should be uh, for goal, but it's not it's not what it is. Uh, we fell into that but now we have an opportunity to, you know, go play a good Canada team and uh, see how we respond. Coming into you may have read Fever Mellow, it's just different. I've got three Olympic gold medals. But man, one thing that I couldn't bring home from Team USA is the FIBA Basketball World Cup. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. Everything has to go right. And that's why I'll be there to watch the 2023 FIBA Basketball World Cup. Because when you win for one, you win for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage. FBWC 23 Global Ambassador, Carmelo Anthony! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, please 
please give it up once again for our FEMA Basketball World Cup 2023 Global Ambassadors. Those games as quote unquote upsets just because you know the game, I think you, you guys can all agree, has evolved um, so much globally. It is an upset. I mean, let's just let's just be quite frank. I mean, we don't want to sugarcoat it. It's an upset. I mean, when you when you have that that gold standard and that you know you you that's what we reach and that's our that's our goal. So anything other other than that is an upset, right? So I don't want nobody to kind of sugarcoat that the USA was an upset. Uh, you have to take your hat off to serve those those guys. Had a hell of a game. Germany had a hell of a game. So. Those are upsets. Let's let's accept that. But that's good for the sport, right? That's good for this, for FIBA, for basketball, for the fans, to let everybody know that the rest of the world is here to play. And, and now everybody has to think differently on, on their approach to trying to win a gold medal. It's a great question. I don't. I mean, I just want to clear it up. I don't think, as as Americans and basketball players, that we think that we can't lose, right? I think the the, the fear of losing is what drives us and what keeps us, you know, going and want to win and feel so bad after loss. Uh, I always think, of, you know, we do a great job as an organization with USAB as, as far as respecting the game and those, those guys are going to come to play for that for that medal game because they understand the implications of that game and, and what that means. But as far as the thought process, you know, of players back in, in, in America, we know we have to compete. Those guys know they have to compete. Uh, I don't think those guys came into this World Cup thinking that this was going to be a clear shot. Uh, but to answer your, your, your other question as far as sending the, the best guys, we have 450 players in the NBA. You just don't know what injuries, what guys are going through, the timing of everything. And I understand you know, what it means to put that, that uniform on and that jersey on, but at the end of the day, everybody has their own thing that's going on and their own decisions and their own people that's, that's talking to them and their own reasons why they make it the decision to come or not to come. So it depends on who it is. I would love to send, you know, the, the cream of the crop uh, out here every year to compete at the highest level, but we have to respect those guys that's out there right now too. Those guys are professional players. They're on their respective teams in the NBA. They are the guys on those teams. So, you know, you can't send the powerhouses every time. These, this is, we talk about development. We're developing these, these young guys and this young talent to be able to compete around the world this year, next year, the next couple World Cups and the next Olympics. So we'll see what happens. You know, we, we take our losses with our wins and we move on. So, kita udah masuk guys, 90 menit sebelum pertandingan Untuk kita masih dapet spot Untuk foto, dan kita lihat ini ada beberapa pemain yang pemanasan Ini masih tenang nih, selalu ntar Dan rame banget, ini juga sold out sepertinya Dan kita akan lihat kira-kira siapa aja yang akan datang hari ini So, hopefully you can get a good content guys Pelatih-pelatih Pada yang ngobrol dulu sebelum pertandingan Hari ini It's nice to see though. Come on, come on, let's go on game. Are you boy jersey? Austin Green, you're gonna be casting it. Ah, the casting, nice. Nice one. Hello there. 
出赛了。Where's the autograph right there? I can't see it. <laughs> Where's the autograph? Uh, in the front? It's in the front? Oh. Oh, it's, it's on the number, I guess. Not Ah, uh, <laughs> We got one Austin Reeves jersey. We got two Austin Reeves jersey. And probably the guy next to it. Okay, Austin Reeves jersey juga gila. Banyak banget nih fans yang Austin Reeves emang sih di Manila. It's so cool. Kita ada nilai coach pro. Okay, chain. <laughs> Swaggy habis. Wah. Wow. Karena dia jaga gini lagi, jalan jarang juga nih kita lihat sport sport kayak gini. Nih benar-benar pemanasan tuh involved with the players, helping with the players. Last game, sebelahnya ada Lee Scola, Paul Gasol, Carmelo Anthony, Superfan, Star Static di Farsight nya. Carmelo Anthony and Rondé Hollis Jefferson, main seperti Rao, di FIBA World Cup. Nafti Goyu Bryan, matching up yang mereka sih. Love to see all these matchups. That game, no one's going to be able to get it. I'm going to have to look at Guys, 
ada satu hal yang paling gue favorit banget di Mall of Asia Arena yaitu adalah Starbucks guys ada Starbucks di dalam Mall of Asia Arena jadi kalau lu mau ngopi, lu bisa beli dulu atau bisa bawa ke dalam actually sih jadi semoga one day ini bisa ditiru di Indonesia biar kita sambil ngeliput atau sambil nonton basket bisa sambil ngopi Wah, itu bakal best banget sih bakal the best banget oke kita udah lagi akan cari-cari suasana ataupun juga kalau bisa interview sebelum game final antara Jerman melawan Serbia tapi tadi gua, game-nya udah gokil pasti yang USA lawan Kanada sih so yuk kita cari siapa kira-kira yang bisa di interview ataupun di kontenin sekarang ini bro you are so lucky bro let me see your shoes oh my god shoes. There is. Fun for life yes sir thanks bro hoki setahun dipakai guys hoki setahun dipakai tapi semua hidup mungkin Game Morn Shoes loh, Game Morn Shoes dari SGA Oh damn, that merch loh, jangan ada merch though Keren banget, ada yang edisi special untuk final doang Wah, Jerman lawan Serbia Keren, keren, keren Ntar IBL yang gue harapkan kalau di IBL Finals ada Khusus sih jualan merchandise kayak gini juga sih Gila, yang foto sama Jeep sih rame banget guys Laku banget ya, di Filipina Gila Ngantri sampai panjang banget di sana, gokil sih. Serbia, good luck guys, good luck, good luck.
Sobro Untuk keluarga dulu, abis juara Gocong sama piala Juara piala ini Big congratulations to the real world champion Germany Glassy. What a tournament sih mereka. 8-0 undefeated selama FIBA World Cup 2023 ini. Mereka benar-benar ngebuktiin kalau mereka adalah tim terbaik sih. Itu kenapa juga mereka makanya bisa ngalahin Amerika dan Serbia di dua pertandingan terakhir ini. Benar-benar salut banget sih apalagi sama Danny Schroeder juga kita tahu awal-awal turnamen Uh, sempat dimaki sama pelatihnya saat lagi time out tapi ternyata mungkin itu jadi inspirasi dan bener-bener abis itu Jerman mainnya bagus terus sih selama turnamen ini so bener-bener well deserved banget sih untuk Jerman bisa menjadi juara uh, piala dunia kali ini nah, of course hari ini juga Franz Wagner mainnya jago lalu nomor 42 itu si Adres Ops itu juga wah gila sih nggak ada obat selama FIBA World Cup ini so kepada fans Jerman selamat lah ya semua ya tebakan gue salah semua untuk juara 3 dan juga untuk juara 1 hari <laughs> ini uh, tapi hari ini emang nggak ada interview uh, karena nak main night untuk bikin vlog kurang hoki kayaknya hari ini tapi kan of course you cannot have it all nggak bisa selalu bagus juga vlognya uh, hopefully you still you guys still enjoy the vlog hopefully masih bisa dinikmati juga and yeah that's a wrap for me from Manila Philippines I cannot wait to go home tomorrow bye bye moa <laughs> nggak tahu kapan lagi kita ke Mall of Asia Arena lagi But it's been fun though, it's been fun uh, Di sini juga ketemu dengan beberapa orang juga Seperti LSK, Gabe Norwood, Japet Aguilar, Jamie Malonzo So very very happy with this trip And yeah, thank you so much guys for always supporting my vlog uh, Semoga bisa 20 ribu views untuk vlog kali ini Amin, amin And yeah, I really appreciate everybody yang udah nonton secara full uh, Once again, jangan lupa guys untuk like Jangan lupa untuk comment And don't forget to subscribe to Don't forget to subscribe as well. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys again. Peace out, everybody.